Hello guys, in this section we will be going ahead and building a very basic reflection agent using land graph and this is going to be the first section where we are actually going to be touching on land graph. So I am pretty excited. We also have a condition right here, okay, should continue or not. So basically in this should continue node, we have like an iteration, you know, only after four iterations you can go to end. So until that four iterations is reached, always go to the reflect node and then the reflect node is going to give some critique. It's going to be passed on to the generate node and then the generate node is going to generate something else and then it's going to come back here. Now the should count is going to be two. So you can imagine that it allows for, let's say four different, four more iteration cycles. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to build out the generation chain and the reflection chain alone. And once we've built both of those chains, then we will in the in the next section we will go ahead and create the graph and put it all together so let us do that we will go back to our visual studio code so i am in my vs code what i've basically done is i've created a folder right here called the basic reflection system and then inside of which i've created a file called chains.py so this is basically the file where I want to sort of put all of my uh, simple, I mean the chains alone together. This is not the file where I want to create the graph. I'll export the chains into the graph and then I'll start using it. So right now we just want to create two chains. We need one chain for the reflector chain and then another chain for the generator chain, right? So in this file, I've imported two things, uh, chat prompt template, messages placeholder. If you're familiar with lang chain, then you should probably know what these things mean. If you do not know, uh, basically, you know, chat prompt template is like, basically like you create a template and then dynamically you sort of uh, input different values. So for example, you know, you are a helpful AI bot, your name is this thing. So in the future, if you want to use this particular prompt, you can just pass in the name to be Bob and the user input to be what is your name. And then this is going to dynamically replace these placeholder values. Okay. So below this, I'm just going to copy paste the generation prompt. So this is going to have a simple system message. Okay. So basically what it says is that you are a Twitter techie influencer assistant tasked with writing excellent tweet, uh, Twitter posts. Generate the best Twitter post possible for the user's request. If the user provides critique, respond with a revised version of your previous attempts. Okay, so you can imagine that the first system, the generation system's only job is to generate a particular tweet. And if at all the other system, the other agent provides a critique, it needs to uh, respond with the revised version of your previous attempts. And that is exactly what we're specifying right here. And what is this message placeholder? Basically in the future, you know, we are not going, this is not, this alone is not going to be helpful, right? There needs to be a lot more messages like, you know, uh, this would generate something and then there, there would be a reflection, there would be a generation, there'd be a ref reflection. So you can imagine that there is going to be a good amount of, you know, history getting generated and whatever history is getting generated at that point, we will input all of this inside of this particular area. So that is what this placeholder is for. And we have the name for that as well, which is called messages. All right. So let's also go ahead and create the reflect prompt. So this is going to be the reflector prompt. Uh, so you can imagine that basically the reflection agents only work is to look at a generated tweet and then make it better, right? Okay. Critique it, right? So that is exactly the prompt that we provided here. So the system message is going to be, you are a viral Twitter influencer grading a tweet generate critique and recommendations for the user's tweet always provide detailed recommendations including requests for length virality style etc okay so this reflection prompts job is to make the tweet better by criticizing it like really like this is bad okay do it better do it better you know so now let's go ahead and create chains out of these prompts okay we have to create chains out of these prompts so that we can export it and use it inside of our graph later on so to do that, I'm just going to use the same chat Google generative AI model. And then I'm going to use the Langchain expression language to actually go ahead and generate a chain. So I'm going to call it generation chain equals, and let me just put it right here. I'm going to pipe it with this LLM. That is, th that is it. Very simple. Okay. I'm and then I'm going to do the same thing for the reflection prompt as well. So let's make this, let's call this chain reflection prompt and then LLM and that is it. 
okay so now we've got two different chains right here and that is what we are going to be importing into our graph and then connecting it all together in the graph so i'll see you in the next section